Okay, walking in the door of the downstairs at 5484 Fifth Street. The downstairs unit is a little kitchenette here with the door to separate the upstairs, two bedrooms and one full bathroom. So we will start here with the bathroom. It has got tile and updated modern vanity. Beautiful light fixtures. Probably the original tub from 1987, but it's in really good shape. There is a closet here for linens and things. Would be a great owner's closet if you do put this on a vacation rental program. So this is bedroom number one. They've got a full size bed in here. It's a rainy gloomy day in St. Augustine, but it does have two larger windows. So that uh, lets in plenty of natural light. And then they've got like a luxury vinyl plank flooring. Huge closet. Um, it's really, really wide. It's pretty deep. So these definitely look like original windows. I would budget for um, probably new windows. <clears throat> okay, so just next door, this would technically be bedroom number two in the downstairs. It is staged as a living room with its own entrance. So this door is how you would get to the downstairs unit, but you can see there that was the closet. It's kind of um, staged as like the, the dining area, but this room is a really great size and it would actually be awesome to do like a Murphy bed right here and still have it staged as the living room so that the people who do rent just this downstairs unit have a living area to hang out in, but then have the Murphy bed or even like a pull out couch or something like that. So you can still advertise two bedrooms for people. All right, got its own little cover up here. Coquina siding, small yard with a really tall privacy fence. And then you have access to the front yard just around there. But as you can see, it's pouring. So I'm going to avoid going out there with my cell phone. Okay, so right through here, this is actually the garage. It's a really, really nice size. Oops. Definitely needs a little bit of, um, you know, refinishing, I would say, but it's great for storage. It looks like they kind of started this and um, it's been sheetrocked and caulked. It just needs like a fresh coat of paint and uh, obviously some drywall there on the bottom part. But regardless, the most important thing to focus on is that it is actually a space for washer and dryer, for laundry that both units can get to. And there's even an extra closet here. So this whole garage, this closet would all be great for um, like an owner's closet to keep your things to restock after renters leave. So. This is a kitchenette. This wasn't one time where the washer and dryer was. Super cute, small subway tile all the way up to the ceiling, open shelving. It's got a sink, two burners, extra storage here, freezer, fridge, it's got it all. And this slides. And uh, down there, looks like they keep their toaster oven. So it really is very functional. And again, this door would separate this whole unit. So great for large groups. Now this is the separate entrance for the upstairs, which we're gonna check out in just a minute. But uh, seems like you can maybe do something with this space if my previous recommendation for bedroom number two slash living room did not appeal to you <clears throat> with this closet and everything, there is quite a bit that uh, you could do with this space here. So 
Beautiful wood on these stairs. Got a wider plank LVP up here. Nice sliders to the patio, which has just actually been redone. Vaulted ceilings. Galley style kitchen. Super, super cute up here. So just kind of start with another view. These are popcorn ceilings. Cabinets are all in really great shape. They don't need to be repainted or anything like that. They've got the crown molding at the top, shiplock feature wall, black stainless steel appliances. It's really a great kitchen. Oh, <clears throat> right over here, obviously they have the off kitchen dining area and a really, really large living space. Everything up here has been updated, fixtures. There's another slider here. Big, big windows, great views. Right over here is actually preserved. So it really is a very, very beautiful view. And uh, with the vaulted ceilings, all the natural light that comes in through all the windows, this truly does feel like the perfect beach house. And it has the outdoor space to enjoy the fact that we are on Anastasia Island, walking distance to the beach, all that good stuff. Give you one more view of the living room here because it's just been so well done. You can really see a lot of family and friends congregating here on their vacations. And then, excuse me, we have three bedrooms up here and two bathrooms. Attic space there. Okay. This is the full bathroom on this floor. Very nice. Everything has been updated from the flooring all the way to the lighting. Very aesthetically pleasing in here. Would need to do a thing. Right across is the primary bedroom, but let me just continue down the right side here. Got some extra storage. <laughs> bedroom number two stage is kind of like a bonus area sitting area it's a really nice size room you could definitely fit in a queen size bed you might be able to do a king on this wall i probably wouldn't it would feel a little bit tight but a queen definitely with the appropriate Furniture would be great. And now to the primary bedroom. So they do have a queen in here, but you can see these are larger nightstands. You could definitely fit a queen, a king size bed in here, excuse me. <clears throat> We've got some nicer shelving here in the primary closet. Definitely went for that mid-century modern look. And I think they did a really, really nice job. Again, two big windows. Ship lap feature wall here. Definitely something a little interesting going on right there. But honestly, a new, let's see. Actually, just needs a new outlet cover. It'll be fine. Okay, so right when you walk in here, you've got the walk-in shower, the water closet, 
Looks like it one time did have a door. Um, and probably took it off just because it is a little bit tight in here for a master, but um, again, this was built in the 80s. So <laughs> kind of to be expected if you wanted to add a door on you, you definitely could. This looks like the original vanity and countertop. It does kind of go with the theme. They did a great job painting it and updating the, the fixtures. Nice big mirror. Again, water closet. And then behind the curtain here, got tile on every square inch of the walk-in shower. Great for, from a maintenance perspective. So I did want to point out, we do have some cracks in the, in the tile. Um, definitely probably would, you know, need a refresh in here. Maybe not, maybe not. Um, but I probably would budget for it if I were purchasing this as a vacation rental. So again, upstairs we have three bedrooms, including the primary, two bathrooms, really nice open living space with two uh, glass sliders onto the deck. Great kitchen with tons of storage, beautiful countertops. And then downstairs, we have two bedrooms, and including the living space. And then the kitchenette with the washer and dryer for both floors to share in the garage. And this is 5484 Fifth Street.